I'm Becky Safe. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. In this video, we are going to take a look at how you can get your kick drums to hit harder, to punch through in the mix in the lower sub frequencies. And I decided to do this video because the other day in my project, I had a kick drum and it just wasn't punching through in the lower frequencies in the mix like I wanted it to. I wanted it to really punch through in the mix. And I remembered this technique, which I haven't used for a while, which is basically using a sine wave, layering it underneath your kick drum and having it sidechain triggered by the original kick to open and close on a noise gate just to allow some sub frequencies to come through when your kick drum is playing. Now the last time that I actually did this was using a test tone generator when I was a Logic user so that's quite a while ago for me but today we're going to use Ableton and I'm going to show you how you can do this technique using Operator. So here in the project I have my kick drum which is punching through in the mix uh, pretty well at the moment because there's nothing else in there. But as soon as you start to add other instruments, especially a sub bass, you're going to have to balance out the mix. And that's the issue that I had the other day where my kick drum just wasn't punching through even with side chaining. And if we take a look on span, you can see that we're getting the peak at the F that's hovering around 90 hertz, but then the F that's the one below, the one that's around 40 hertz, we're not getting those lower frequencies. We could definitely beef this up around here. Okay, so let's add operator and I'm going to insert a MIDI clip. So shift control or shift command and M and we're going to go down to F0 and drag out one complete sustained note. So this is your sub frequencies in operator now. And we can see that peak there that is hovering around the F down in the 40 Hertz region. So we now have that lower frequency, but it's sustained. It's completely playing the whole entire time, which we don't want. So the next thing we're going to do is get a noise gate and we're going to drag the noise gate after operator. And then we're going to open up this drop down triangle here. And you'll see that we now have a side chain option. Click on the side chain and go to audio from. Audio from the bass drum. So that's the original bass drum above. And now this is going to trigger the gate to open and close only when the kick drum is playing. You can adjust the threshold, so I'm going to bring that right down. And you can also play with the hold and the release, depending on how long you want those sub frequencies to ring out for. Maybe you want them to be a bit more sustained and ring out for a little bit more time. Increase your attack. You can also increase the attack on the envelope of operator so you can remove the click that you're hearing. So you can just slightly increase the attack on the envelope in operator. You also have the option to bend. And now we have the sub frequencies coming through only when the kick drum is triggering on the side chain of the gate. So if we open up and play both of them. So once you've attenuated the settings on the gate and you've got the two working together, we're going to now check to see the difference between having just the original kick drum and then our operator layer. So I'm going to show you what it's like just with the original kick drum. And now with the layer. So you can hear those lower frequencies really thickening out the kick drum. The only issue with this is that you can kind of hear a crossover now of overlapping frequencies. So it's always a good idea to check your phasing and also to separate using EQs so that you get a much cleaner mix. So we're going to use Ableton's EQ8 and drag that onto your first kick drum. And we're going to leave that as is. Let's just bring down the high pass so it's just about 
about here, about 70. So we're, we're crossing over at that point between those two fundamental F notes. The first one in the sub frequency around the 40 hertz, and then the second one on the original kick drum in the upper frequencies around 90 hertz. So then we're going to grab the EQ8 and hold down on control or control, yeah, control on both PC and Mac, control. Uh, drag that onto operator. And so this is going to be the reverse now. So we're just going to flip this so that it's a low pass filter. So now we have the low pass filter at exactly the same point where it crosses over on the EQ8 on the kick drum above. And now if we play them together, We have two kick drums working in partnership. We're getting the lower frequencies and we're also getting that upper frequency characteristics from our original kick drum without that congestion going on in the low end. Now, another thing you might want to do is invert the polarity. If you have some phase cancellation going on with your two waves, then you might want to use utility. If you drag utility onto a track and just press the phase invert left and right. This is going to flip the polarity of your wave and that's going to help with balancing the two waves in the mix. I'm just going to show you quickly what this looks like. So I'm going to freeze, create a new audio track and then drag that down and then I'm going to unfreeze. I'm just going to turn this off and then freeze again, audio track, so now we have one with the polarity that's inverted, so flipped upside down, and another one with the original phase. And if you take a look at these waves, so if you see here, we have the wave that's going down in the negative, and then we also have this one, which is coming up at the same time in the positive. So these waves are actually canceling each other out. So if we actually solo on them, technically you shouldn't hear anything. There you go. Nothing. Because they're cancelling each other out. They are flipped phases, which is an issue if you're working with the lower frequencies, especially if you have these two kick drums, which we've just layered. Obviously, we've separated them using EQs, but if you're not going to do that or you're going to shape it a little bit differently, just be aware that your waves potentially could cancel each other out and create silence in your low end. And that's the opposite of what we're trying to do. Finally, I'm just going to show you how you can do this using a gate from a third party plugin supplier. <laughs> That's what we call them, third party plugin suppliers. Yeah. So we're going to use kilohertz noise gate and you can see it's slightly different to the Ableton noise gate. Not much different, but I just wanted to show you this. Uh, so we have the tone. This is our low frequency tone. We now have side chain. We're just going to select input three and four. That just activates the gate. And now down here on the kilohertz gate, side chain input from the bass drum. And now you have your noise gate being triggered, opening and closing using a third party gate. And that, my friends, is how you can thicken up your kick drum in the low end without needing to swap out your kick drum. Because if you like the characteristics of the drum that you've used, why do you want to get rid of it? Use a sine wave so you're getting that pure low frequency tone and layer it with your kick drum. But just be careful when you're crossing over those frequencies. You don't want that rumbling going on in your low end. And you absolutely do not want phase cancellation where you create silence instead of a big fat thick kick drum. My name's Becky Safe. Thank you so much for checking out this video. If you learned something from it, please consider giving it a like and subscribing to the channel to be notified for more content. Drop me a comment below. It helps me to help you and I love to get connected with people that are watching my videos. There's also lots of links below to my recommended plugins, courses and also my social media which you can find and follow me on and stay in touch with everything that I'm doing. Yeah! Awesome. And until then, I will see you for another one. Bye.